It's your boy Sokos TV Millie. I'm back with another one. So today we're going to be talking about the top three crypto projects with institutional interest. Um, I like to kind of like align my portfolio here with some of the smart money. So I thought this was a cool idea. Um, if you like videos like this one, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur in the algorithms. Now, first and foremost, leave a comment, engage with the video and let me know some of your favorite institutional projects crypto projects now i want to talk about chain link family you can see here chain link is sitting at seven dollars and 45 cent the market cap is three billion of the fully diluted market cap which is seven billion and the circulating supply is 51 percent of the max supply which is one billion which is pretty interesting because you don't see a lot of tokens that have one billion max supply reach the heights that chain link has reached um in fact most experts believe chain link can reach anywhere from 100 to 500 dollars in the next bull run because of its unique utility and use case you can see here that the all-time high was about 49 dollars family so an easy 7x from here now what does chain link do, do what chain link does is it provides oracles off-chain data to smart contracts to execute off-chain data on the blockchain so for instance give you guys an example you can see here true inflation reports the um, US inflation rate here on chain and as you can see here true inflation is powered by chain link and you'll see a lot more companies in web 2 and even in traditional finance using chain link oracles to process off chain data here on the blockchain through the execution of the smart contract so again there is a use case here for institutions as far as chain link in fact chain link almost has a billion excuse me not a billion but a million um followers on twitter um, usually when this project pumps you see the link marines come out <laughs> and it's always funny when the link marines come out um if you've been following chain link for a while you know what i'm talking about but i believe chain link will um really 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 have a use case and utility here in the uh, crypto space you can see that it partnered with swift um to provide data off chain and cross chain within the protocol traditional finance play so we're seeing big moves here from Chainlink. if you don't know what swift is swift is the interbank messaging system that allows for cross-border payments they are now working with chain link a provider of price feeds and other data to blockchains on a cross-chain interoperability ccip and initial proof of concept so just keep that in mind more institutions like swift um, like true inflation will be using the use case here of chain link not only for oracles family but also interoperability uh, this will help accelerate the adoption of dlt blockchains and benefit various institutions across capital markets so a lot of bullish information coming out here with chain link and chain link again is partnered with some of the best um, institutions out there so keep in mind um chain link uh, let me know what y'all think about chain link the next project i want to talk about here is algorithm now this was a tough to just pick three you know um i know a lot of the <laughs> I know a couple of projects, a couple of people in the comments go be like, Millie, you didn't say this project. Millie, you just didn't say that project. Trust me, it was very, very hard. Now, Algorand here is 25 cent. The market cap is uh, 1.8 billion. The fully diluted market cap is 2.5 billion. And the circulating supply is 7 billion of 10 billion. You can see that the project was able to hit and it's all time highs around a dollar and 36 cents so almost 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 on a dollar and 50 cent um it's well under its uh ico release price here which is like three dollars so very undervalued project but a lot of institutional interest we've seen um algorithm work with countries uh, providing a potential cbdc um, they're even doing um, tokenization of real estate. They've partnered with Lofty AI, um, which where you can invest into fractional real estate here um, that doesn't lock you in or lock you out. So, again, um, a lot of stuff being developed on the Algorand um, blockchain here. A lot of different partnerships um, tokenizing real estate on Algorand. OK, so Algorand has a lot of different institutional partners outside of just um, that company right there. They've been doing a lot. You can see the Algorand ecosystem here 
where they uh specialize in stuff like DeFi. They have swaps. They own swaps. They own staking, um, launch pads. Uh, they they're in the music. They're in the sports um, industry as far as uh cryptocurrency. They're in the gaming industry. So a lot going on with Algorand. Algorand is pretty much jam packed here with utility. Is not exactly one thing that they do they pretty much cover all aspects of uh not just the crypto space but also traditional finance and again they have partnerships with legit companies i mean governments out there are interested in using the algorithm um ecosystem and uh, technology you can see they uh they uh brag and boast here that they're the world's most greenest decentralized and also scalable blockchain so that's arguable i know every blockchain says the same thing but you can see here uh, they're saying they're fast six thousand transactions per second um carbon zero so you know everything's going esg people love that whole green um narrative uh, they're very secure uh, very secure and very scalable decentralized algorithm has a decentralized consensus and governance mechanism and they specialize in stuff uh, specialize in DeFi family um innovative with green decentralized blockchain with a borderless digital econ economy built on an open source carbon negative network and you can see some of the feature featured projects here and there's lofty ai where they plan on tokenizing real world assets like real estate i even heard my my boy uh, everything altcoin mentioned algorand um he saw a commercial where they were they came across the tv they also been sponsored here by the world cup so they have some big sponsorships as far as the sports um as far as far as the sports narrative so a lot going on with algorand i think algorand is one of those projects that has heavy institutional interest you can see here very active on the Twitter family, over 137 followers. Now, the only thing that that a lot of people bag about about Algo is the price action. It really never seen a, a bull run. So again, we'll just have to see if Algorand can finally um, get to some all time highs that people can actually be proud of. It is sitting at 25 cents, so it is a bargain buy. And I want y'all also to keep in mind that institutions are not our friends, okay? Institutions are not our friends. These institutions and these projects that they're investing in, they're all about making money. So they're not friends of retail. That's why you want to make sure you're getting in these projects when they are loading their bags up. Because what they do is they dump on retail. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. You definitely always got to do your own research. But again, don't always get wrapped up into these institutional narrative type projects because there's always a downside to every narrative. And a downside to this institutional narrative is that institutions are not our friends. That's why people buy the smart people in crypto buy when the smart money buys because they want to align themselves with the institutional money and not be the exit liquidity so you know always keep it transparent and real on the channel and um that's why y'all gotta hit that like and subscribe also check out the links in the description if you're interested in the patreon the last project i want to talk here about is hadera now y'all know i cover hadera almost every couple days on my channel hadera has extreme institutional interest as you can see some of the biggest tech giants here sit at the hadera um, governing council um, projects like Google, IBM, even Chainlink. So you're seeing the connections there. And um, Hadera has heavy institutional um, interest. We've seen um, at Davos how they blew a lot of the wealthy and elites mind away. Um, at the world, they have um, um, they have uh, partnerships here. Well, not a partnership. They are tied excuse me to the World Economic Forum. So a lot of big names back Hedera, they even um consider a iso 222 token as we know that the financial system is moving to the iso 222 messaging um system in the next month or so so a lot going on with Hedera. they offer a plethora of utility also um tokenizing um real world assets uh, one of the fastest uh, technologies as far as transactions per second um very very secure family very very secure and some of the biggest influencers around the world have talked about how they invest in hedera so a lot of interest in hedera not just institutional interest but we know the one flaw with hedera is the tokenomics and the token release schedules and that's pretty much what stops and kind of like um keeps it, it kind of like keeps hedera's price down in a way 
I feel like Hedera could easily be worth two dollars, three dollars if it wasn't for the um the um token releases and how it surprise suppresses the Hedera price. So Hedera right now is sitting at seven cent. The all time high is around uh what's that? Forty five cents. So again, um not that bad, not that bad. Maybe a seven X from here. I really feel like Hedera could easily hit one dollar two dollars in the future just based off the utility here they have their own ecosystem um they are esg compliant one of the most greenest technologies out there they have their own swap launch pad um i believe the swap is sasha swap the launch pad is head starter and also family their own um wallet here the citadel wallet and the h bar wallet when you can actually store your h bar on a decentralized wallet so again Hedera has a lot of int uh, institutional interest. Um, a lot of institutions sit at the Hedera Council. And that's why I feel like it's one of the top three projects that smart money is buying. Now, I also want to talk about a few honorable mentions before I go. One of them being Quant. I know Quant could have easily made this list. And a lot of people, especially institutions, are very bullish on Quant. And what they have to offer also family bitcoin and ethereum institutions are very very interested in bitcoin and ethereum can't leave that out those are probably the three that um that didn't make the list but could easily make the list give or take so let me know in the comments what your favorite institutional um crypto projects are which ones do you think the smart money is going to the most i'd love to know you guys opinions in the comment and also like and subscribe i'm gonna see you in the next one it's your boy soap guys tv millie i'm out